Hey guys, how's it going? This is Natanado, and I'm carrying on right from last time in Dreamfall, The Longest Journey. Let us finally get Don't the information me, good sir, madam. with the mold wine. Here, mold wine made with Mrs. Mullins and mixed spices. Ah, the sweet scent of Mrs. Mullins and Riverwood Red. Give it here, Pattle. Let me take a swig. Ah, by the balance that hit the spot it did. What the fuck? Ah, I'm most grateful. He downed it in one. You have earned uh, yourself whatever. a silver star in Blind Bob's book. Glad you liked it. It wasn't easy getting it. Without the journey, the reward is not half as sweet. That's uh, what's a name? Uh, old chestnut round these parts. Still as true as the sky is green. Green? I had an accident with a chroma charm when I was a wee lad. Every morning Blind Bob wakes up, the sky's a different color. Today it's green. Well, anyway. Hi there. Arms for a poor. Oh, ha, it's ye. What tidings of joy do you bring me this time? Well, obviously I want my information now. Do you know now. where I can find Minstrum Magda? Oh, he knows her, Blind Bob does. He knows her well. Nice lady. Best sort not soup south of lame bastard hill. Do you know where she is today? Oh, she moves around, Magda does. Ain't seen her round here in a while. You might try asking someone other than Blind Bob. Like who? I don't know anyone in the city. Well, you might have more luck asking Crazy Clara. Lives up Crab Bend, Clara does, on Hangman Span, in view of Friar's Keep. Crazy as a turnip, Clara is. But she's also got a Scout Wing's eyes. She knows more than she lets on. Uh, well. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Oh, just call me theoretically. We're friends now, ye and I. Just theoretically. To the welfare of old I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to go. He just said a whole bunch choice. of, like, names of places, and I have no idea where they are. It's definitely not down that way, though. I'm not sure if I should talk to... Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just have a little walk around. I'll find it. If I get lost, I'll just pause the recording, and I'll find it out myself. Oh god, I've got a bad feeling about coming this way with that. Maybe I should have consulted that old woman. Uh, I'll consult the old woman first. Okay, let's go consult the old woman. Hey, yo, bitch! Um, hello? Yes? Oh, it's you. What can I do for you, child? Oh, crap. She had nothing. I'll be back Great. after I find Minstrum Magda. Very well, child. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna go scout around for a bit. Okay. I've found myself in a new part of the city. So, um... Yeah. We're gonna... Explore a little bit, I guess. Hopefully find... Crazy cunt... Uh, I mean, Clara. Oh... Might you be the one that which I seek? Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, are you Clara by any chance? You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. Well, now that you think about it, that was quite lucky that I came across her. Uh, do you know Blind Bob? I'm a friend of Blind Bob's. You know, theoretically. Near burn me eyes out, wee lad. Where's me bike? My baby. Blind Bob's your baby? Pretty thing, so pretty, my flower, but she has to be punished. All gone. All gone. I think Bob's still up by the journeyman, but uh, you're not talking about him, are you? Baby, my baby, my baby. So, you lost something? Or someone? My baby. <laughs> yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in the net. Just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Pretty thing. 
poor thing, my baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The ghetto's clothes. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone. But close. So close. I still hear him, my baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to Mammy. Home. Never again. Never. Never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? Okay, so now I gotta find a baby. But first, is there Hello anything again, else Clara. I can ask you about? My baby? Not yet. But I'll try my best, okay? I don't want you to try your best, Clara. I want you to do your best. Gone. 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 Okay, well, I can't talk to her anymore. Um, let's go up here. Um, I have no idea what, what the fuck is this? This is like a damn castle up here. Why does she live outside the castle for? That tower looks like bad news. I'm not going in there. Oh, for Christ's sake. See, it looks like... Is there a secret out here? Secrets? 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 Secrets for me? Ah! You have secrets for me. Or not? Mm, guess not. Oh well. I was hoping you had secrets for me. Can I see something from here? I don't see anything. Oh well. Too bad, I thought there were secrets back here. That sucks. Um, alright, so we're looking for a baby that's been caged up. Ah, I have no freaking clue what the hell I'm looking for. You give me no help, crazy lady. No help whatsoever. These doors and windows are all locked or boarded up. Does anyone even live here anymore? I doubt it. This place looks pretty shit. Let's go back to the uh, market square or whatever it was. Alright. Could this be it? Mm, I don't think it is. Bloody hell. Where am I going to find... Whatever she was after. Her baby. Christ, this is going to be one long day trying to figure out this stupid bitch's shit. Um, you know anything about uh? We will nope. bring peace and progress to this continent. About this way. It's only a matter of time. Anything special out here? Maybe I can go in this building. I don't know. Ah, damn it. Nothing there. Oh well. You know what? This scaffolding looks pretty suspicious. Can I get up there? Or is it just for show? No, nope, it's just for show. That sucks. Okay, um, next. Next thing on the agenda. I'm gonna go up to the big building at the top of the stairs. Don't get in my way now. Only trueborn are allowed inside without an escort, citizen. You'll need the proper paperwork if you seek an appointment. Crap. Well, I have made a big mistake. I've seen nothing locked up. Maybe... Maybe I'll go talk to Blind Bob. 
See if he knows anything about Crazy Clara's baby. I don't know. I'm feeling he might know something. Hopefully he won't make me do something for him again. Don't mind me, good sir, blind. Oh, I can only I'm look at him now. Old to go and to eat. Oh, I wouldn't suppose he'd know anything about it. No. Crap. Make a donation to the welfare of old Could I go... Wait, that's like a cage over there. Could that be it? Arms, arms for a poor old Get out of the bastard. way. So cold, so hungry, so blind. The tunnel's closed. Oh, it's just a tunnel. Do you think? Blind Bob, shut the hell up. I don't think that she's gonna know anything, but I'll talk to her anyway, just in case. Hello? What? Nope, she knows nothing. I'll be back after I find Minstrel Magda. Very well, child. Crap. Damn it, I'm so confused. They gave me so little information there. Just baby. Make a donation to the welfare of Shut up, Blind Bob. I'll fucking neck you if you keep talking, mate. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna have a little wander. And I'll get back to you guys when I figure something out. Okay, guys. I think that I may have figured it out. I was just standing here being a dick. Stopping this thing. And I looked down that little alleyway over there. And hello, Zoe. And I saw this thing. Hey. You can't go in there. Ah, so that's it. Wait, maybe I can go in while that monster thing's in the way. Ah, yes, hell yeah. Okay, hello. That must be Crazy Clara's pet. It's really cute. Oh, shit. Hey, wait, come back. Did it run off to Crazy Clara right then and there? No. Huh. Well, that wasn't that hard. Thank God for that. Alright, so... I did it? Yes? Please tell me it didn't run off. Oh, there it is. I did it. Now I'm gonna have to break up your sappy reunion. You need to give me information. I see you got your baby back. Safe now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt, not soup. Our favourite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps, too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup, too. Down where? The market? We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market, from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, okay? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. Alright, well... Uh, I don't remember passing a soup kitchen, but Clara did say Southgate Market, and that place is just through here. That's pretty cool. I like that. 
I like that idea that she talks through other people instead of herself. Get your fish fresh from the ocean. Wait, is this her? Is this her? Are you serious? I didn't see her any time that I walked by. Oh, Get for Christ's sake, this is her, Good isn't it? Good morning, dear. You look hungry. Do you want some soup? All prophets go to the refuge. We shelter and feed the homeless and the penniless. No, thank you. Are you Minstrom Magda? Shh, not so loud. There are ears everywhere. Who are you? What do you want? I I'm just looking for Minstrom Magda. I don't know any Minstrom Magda. There are no Minstrom in this city. Not anymore. But I was told that you... that Minstrom... Like I said, there are none left. I didn't know that. I don't know anything. I was just told that... that Magda could help me. And who, pray tell, told you that? The innkeeper. The innkeeper at the journeyman. Oh? And who would that be? That would be, uh... Ben Rime. Her name is Ben Rime Salmon. I see. So Ben Rime sent you to find Magda. Now why would she do a thing like that? Because I'm... I'm, um... Not from around here. That much is quite obvious. <laughs> Very well, dear. I do believe that you're as lost as you seem to be. I'm Magda. Just Magda, mind, and you would do well to address me as such. Either that or ma'am. No titles, no honorifics. Ben Rime ought to have made that clear to you. I will try and assist you with any questions that you may have, and maybe even point you in the right direction. But be discreet. Like I said, there are ears everywhere. Okay, so... Let's just forget that, let's talk about this. Why did the innkeeper tell me to see you? Most likely because I have assisted travelers like you before. But the times have changed. Mercuria has become a very dangerous place for people like yourself. For me too, but I belong here. You do not. You think? I just want to go home. And so you should, with haste. There's no adventure to be had here. Not anymore. Pardon so me. there's Sorry. nothing you can do for me. Like I said, I will assist you with any questions you may have, and I will point you in the right direction. But that is all I can do. <sighs> okay, um... Maybe she's heard of April. Do you know anyone by the name of April Ryan? April? I may have heard that name before. What would you with her? I don't know. I need to find her. We have something in common, and I think... I think she's in trouble. And do you intend to save her? How do you propose to do that? I don't know that either. I just need to find her. Hmm. Well, I apologize, but I cannot help you there. That sounded pretty sus. Anyway... Can you help me get back to my world? No, I cannot. It's too dangerous. But I can point you in the direction of someone who might be able to help you. You will need to enter Old Town. They call it the Magic Ghetto these days, after our protectors rebuilt the wall. The entrance to the ghetto is across the square. The gate is usually open, but right now the soldiers are conducting a raid. You will have to wait until they open the gates again. Where do I go once I'm on the inside? Seek out an artisan of the magic craft. Their skills have been mostly outlawed by the Azadi, except inside the ghetto. A practitioner of the craft might be able to help you draw on your latent talents to open a gateway. But be careful. If the Azadi were to learn of your origins and powers, they would show no mercy. You would be sent away to stand trial. They fear magic, these foreigners. They are doing their best to control it, and everyone who uses it. And I fear they may be succeeding in their endeavors. Like I said, you would stand a better chance of getting home if you visited Old Town. Oh boy, there's a lot of shit to talk about. Um... Alright, I want to know what the Azadi really is. Who are the Azadi? They are our protectors, and our guests. 
They helped liberate Mercuria from the Tyran armies ten years ago. And then they decided to stay. So the city's under occupation? Not at all. And you would do well not to speak ill of the Azadi, lest you fancy seeing the inside of Friar's Keep. They are here to unify and convert the Northlands in the name of their goddess. And they are very particular about their faith. It leaves precious little room for other ideas. But that's all I will tell you. I would leave the topic be if I were you. So they're tyrannical overlords who will fucking rape you if you don't, like, conform, pretty much. Okay, so... I think I understand what the ghetto is. Let's just get the hell out of Thank here. Thank you. You watch yourself out there. Don't get in the way of the Azadi soldiers. If they knew whence you came. I'll be careful. Bye. Psst. Oh, crap. Here we go. Hey. Oh! That's that guy! That's that guy who was with April Ryan! What do you want? I hear you're looking for a way into the ghetto. Who told you... Oh, wait. Weren't you at the inn this morning? Not here. There are soldiers around. Follow me. I'm not following you anywhere. But I can show you a way into the ghetto. Just hold on a minute. Who are you? My name is... It's Worm. Worm? <laughs> that doesn't exactly inspire trust. What are you talking about? How do I know I can trust you? Back at the inn, I heard you say the name... April Ryan. You know her. I may know how to get in touch with her. You do? How? You'll just have to trust me. If you overheard me talking to the innkeeper, you know I'm not from... from around here. I can't just follow any stranger I meet on the street. I mean, how do I know you won't lead me into a dark alley, knock me out, tie me up and drag me into a basement somewhere? I... promise I won't drag you into a basement. Besides, what choice do you have? You're stuck here, aren't you? I'm the only one who can take you to Ri to April. She's the one you're looking for, right? Okay, fine. So I don't have much of a choice. But if you're lying to me, I'll scream. I can scream pretty loud. I'm sure you can. I promise, no basements. Come on. Okay, okay, don't run off without me. Oh my god, he's... Come on, hurry up. We don't want anyone oh following Oh god, us. that's so creepy how you can hear people from so far away. He's like whispering, but he's over there. Anyway, that's all I have for this episode. I hope that you're enjoying the series. Thankfully, something is finally happening. Something exciting, at least. And, um, well, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload. So, stay tuned for more.